esta zona. Just a real quick message for you guys here in the beginning of this awesome video, the wrenchworks.com fall launch giveaway is now officially live. After you're done watching this video, go over to wrenchworks.com, get entered. If you have any questions about what we're giving away, how to get entered, first part of the last video, we'll have all of those details for you guys. Make sure you guys get entered. I love you guys, thank you all for the support. Let's get this video started. What is going on guys? Welcome back to part two of getting the paddle shifter Suncoast uh, PCS valve body installed in the truck, starting off off where we left off before getting the transmission in the truck we're gonna go ahead and put our Suncoast converter with all of this beautiful sexy engraving right here this should this should this is too nice to actually go inside of a truck but we are going to put that on our new Suncoast input shaft go ahead start getting this trans put it back in the truck and Abe is the one who is gonna muscle muscle that bad boy in there Fully back installed, transmission is back in TKs in, trans in, everything is tight, all the mounts are tight. We're about to lower it back down, throw some fluid in this thing, and that will wrap up day one. All right guys, welcome back. It is now, not the next day, but the day after that. So we are back here. Yesterday, John and the guys, Abe, uh, they were working on the truck without me. I actually had to be at work. So we are back here today. And today, hopefully, we will have this thing done, running. What do you say, John? John and Abe, John and Abe are working in the background. Yeah? Yeah, hey, hi. So they got some stuff done while I was not here, but we are here now. Got the seat out, things mounted, wires ran, steering wheel off. Morning, John. Good morning. Good morning, John. Good morning. So what did we do? Fill everybody in yesterday when we were not here. I see uh, mostly wiring, right? Yes. While you were while you were gone, we got the standalone computer mounted. We ran the wiring for it that goes into the engine bay. And, and that wiring also goes down into the trans as well? Correct. So yep. there's a grommet and a plug in the floor that actually will go through to connect to the transmission side? Yes. And then all of this wiring runs through here, some into the engine bay, some underneath here? Yep, some of it. So there are four things that we leave unterminated. You've got your TPS, you've got your ignition on, you've got your CAN, which is your communication for the paddle shifters. And what was the last one? Overdrive. And the overdrive cancel. Well, no, there is no overdrive cancel. It turns the paddle off. Yeah. <laughs> and the last is... <laughs> <laughs> we, we may have messed that up in the last video, but that's okay. It's hard to remember all this stuff. The last is your paddle activation. Right, so is, we're actually gonna go over the function of that, I guess probably when everything's done right, yeah. how, how you flip, because this actually can go from your normal driving to your paddle driving. You don't lose one or the other. Yep, it's automatic and manual. 
That is so cool. All this stuff over here still has to go in. We got the tuning laptop here because we do actually, uh, if, I don't think we mentioned it in the last video, but we do actually have to retune the truck because now that the transmission is completely separate on its own system, all of the parameters that were in the tune that we have for the transmission shifting do not need to be there because that computer is now gonna take care of it. So we are gonna have to retune the truck. The guys over at HPP were waiting on that. All of this stuff still needs to go in, correct? The steering wheel stuff. Yep. And there was some steering wheel. other wiring These that was- These are resistors required to run for communications for the paddle shifters and the PCS. So these need to be tied in to the harness. It's two wires, very easy. Hook the horn up and Got our, our, our little engineer piece. And the last is gonna be running the harness. So it's actually probably gonna be first. So this is actually the only plug that's in the engine right now. Correct. We have this small one that is gonna go in there. Yep, so this is an eight pin Deutsch plug. And what this does on the end of this is it hooks into our bridge connector that we made yep. for the ECM. And then we need to unplug the one of the ECM plugs, which is kind of hard to see right now, but it is hidden all the way down there. We'll get a better angle of that yep. here in a minute, but. Your C1 plug. So yeah, this ties into the ECM. This is ignition on power, which we typically pick up off of the, the big bulkhead connector. Where yours is, <laughs> the big yours bulkhead is connector where Greg uh, ran all of his wiring up through the cowl to make it a little bit cleaner. So, of course, uh, the less visible things are, the harder they'll get to. But we'll end up probably pulling this cowl off or finding a different wire source for that. Yeah. But that is the general gist of everything. And then there's battery power. Battery power. That's Might it. need that. And then it's onto the tuning on the uh, PCS software. So we're gonna try and start knocking some of this stuff out, guys, and we will catch back up with you. tuned we have the engine tuned we have the transmission pressure gauge that we are going to go for a test drive here very very shortly but everything is completely completely done all of the wiring underneath the engine here nice and tidy you can't see anything i may have made abe is that my phone always i may have made abe shorten up one of the uh connectors so we are now ready 
for the test drive. Let me show you guys quick on how this works. Hey, John. Yeah. John, show me how to work this. All right, we gotta get a crash course from John because I have some questions. Can you switch it from automatic to manual in park or does it have to be in drive? It'll do it in any gear. Okay, so I just have to hold this? Just tap it like you're going into... And you also have the option to pull both of the handles. Oh, that's right. See, I'm holding the... There you go. Oh, there we go, manual mode. Automatic, Automatic mode. Automatic mode. So you can do that too. Gotcha. That's gonna be the easiest way to install it because then you wouldn't even have to tie into your uh, Oh, that's right, over here. Button. So there were a lot of questions about using a different steering wheel. Let me shut the key off so you guys don't hear that. There was a lot of questions about using a different steering wheel. I did take a short clip of Abe's truck over there. He actually is using uh, factory buttons on his steering wheel. So you could, technically if you could adapt a wheel to this truck, you could use that wheel and other electronic buttons that were in it for those sure. functions. Sure, a little yeah, bit. like an aftermarket six bolt wheel that already has buttons. Right, or even if a different, like an SRT Jeep Dodge something wheel had buttons on it, you could technically use it. So that way, be more challenging, of course, yeah. but gonna be some machining involved. This is this is too cool though. I looked into that for my truck and I said this is too much work and I just went that route. <laughs> and this looks cool. This looks like it's ready to go fast. It is. Which is exactly what we're gonna do. All right, we're letting John have the first honor, making sure everything is good. We are buckled in. 100 pounds right there. This feels good. Money! Yeah, it's right there. So a lot of guys were asking about the hesitation between the electronic controls to the valve body. We are happy to announce none of, none of the delay. All of the fun. So three cars just pulled up at once, and no one's gonna go. Hey, Ooh, on, you go. gonna go. They can't see. We have a tinted windshield. Yeah, uh, Suncoast is putting check balls in the valve body now. When we first took it out, the ship was slow, but now it's. Oh yeah. It's, yeah. it's right there. That's that's perfect. <laughs> John's smiling. You could tell in his voice. <laughs> yes. I just love it when there's an improvement. Of course, as we take our second test drive, it is about to downpour. <laughs> oh, well, we, yes. know the, we know the pressures are good. Uh, we did actually revise the trans tune in here too as well. One thing that I think is really, really cool that I didn't know about these valve bodies you never really went over is the fact that you can set lockup to come on automatically. So normally my lockup switch is right here when you're racing. As soon as you hit second, flip it on. Well now the valve body, you can put in the tune would you say anything over 80% second gear and above, it's automatically in lockup? Yeah. That is Automatic awesome. Lockup. Awesome. And we have... Set your lowest gear, your lowest lockup gear too. It's second, it won't lock, I don't like first gear lockup. Woohoo! All of the hard shifts. Yes. All the pressure. Definitely threw me back. We had second gear lockup. Yep, that feels like what it feels like on the track, that's for sure. Goodbye, John.
Thank you. Bye, thank guy. you, my friend. Yes, you're welcome. John is the man. Bye, Abe. Thank you, Abe. Abe, you, Abe's, Abe's the real man behind the, behind the wrench. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna load up. Alrighty, guys, just gotta hook up the trailer, load up the truck, and we will be headed home, and I will catch back up with you guys. Hi, girls. Hi. How we doing? Yeah. Is that the first smile on camera? Oh. You want this? Yay. Reagan. She's getting big. Allie's working hard, slaving away. Oh. Ooh, burp, nice. Excuse, excuse you. We have finally, finally made it home much, much later in the evening. We fought so much traffic getting home. We are getting home super, super late, but the truck is home. Huge, huge, huge thank you to John and the guys there at Muldoon's and Suncoast uh, for making the paddle shifters happen. Uh, at the tail end there, we were tweaking on the tune quite a bit. Uh, John found out some other quick things to actually make the shifters even faster, even though they really had no delay at all. We'll go over that in the daylight. We'll, we'll drive it. I actually never even got a chance to drive it because we were so focused on just trying to get the tune set up before, uh, before we left, but it is so sweet. I am so pumped. Uh, again, we'll go, bugs flying around. We'll go over everything uh, in another video, kind of in the daylight, driving around. We'll get Allie to go drive the truck. That'll be cool. Just another reminder, head over to wrenchworks.com. Get entered in the giveaway that is now live. Go do that right now, and I will see you guys tomorrow. See you.